Muy buenas a todos chavales, bienvenidos un día más de Wolf Among Us Vamos a continuar por donde lo dejamos el último día Comenzamos el capítulo, de episodio 4, perdón eh, A ver, según esto pone la piel del cordero, se supone, ¿no? Y ship, bueno, la piel de la oveja En fin, algo así tiene que ser la traducción Ahí tenemos a Bluebird A ver No puedo ver humano, estás yendo a la es tan simple como eso. ¿Tienes alguna idea de cuánto te cuesta tener una familia entera en glamour? No puedo terminar la mirada. Está faltando una parte. Green debería haber tomado un shot con él. Abrió la puerta mi arma. Pero no es lo que tenemos que hacer. Tenemos que ir a la casa. Gracias, Bigby. Y gracias por cubrirme la última vez también. ¿Bigby? ¿Cómo podrías hacer esto conmigo? Creo que al final veo quién eres. Dígame quién lo hizo. Dígame quién lo hizo. Esto fue jodido, ¿eh? A ver si esa me la puedo quitar de en medio. Uf. Vamos a ver. Bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long term toxicosis. Boy. Easy there. Try not to move. <coughs> We can't keep it. Puta madre, Dios. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious. But there's little I can do for the pain. My arm. Yes, very ugly. But not life threatening. I can't say the same for these bullets peppered throughout your vital organs. Please, Bigby, don't move it. Hermano, que polla hace de mover la mano, tío. Setting his life at the moment. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. <laughs> Pero me cago en tu muerto. No me lo puedo creer, hermano, que yo tenga. Oh, Dios. De verdad, qué puto asco, es que no. Hmm, not bad. That'll do, I suppose. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. <laughs> It's not like I ask for this shit to happen. Yes, but it's not like you actively discouraged it either. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay, at least until he's out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands, and I need the space to work, so if you wouldn't mind... Stick around, all right? I don't know if I trust this guy. Oh, please, I could do this with my optic nerve severed. We'll be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time.
Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. Colin, shut the hell up, will ya? Yes, that would be helpful. <sighs> there. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me. And, well, this time... Hostia puta, que rapid, eh? No joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Miss White. You'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I will. He'll that should be kind of one other, eh? Sleep mostly. Just keep watch and make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. I'll try. Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White, Sheriff, Colin. Swiney. So, how do you, um, feel? It's Bigby, Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I've seen him take worse. How do you think I feel? Like shit. You should see how you look. I'm glad you're not dead. But when am I? Lo del brazo me cago. You stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died, I guess. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like that. And when Swineheart vale. arrived, you know him, he's Se viene. never worried. And even he thought you were... Snow, I'd never leave you. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend his knees the wrong way. I'm just saying, I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? Snow's the boss. She'll know what's best for the community. Thanks. The crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Mary. It was a split-second decision, and I don't care how it looked. Yeah, uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. No problem. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the crooked man thinks he's got snow under his thumb? We're all mad about it, Colin. You weren't there, Colin, so just drop it. Okay, okay. All I care about right now is... Just what does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark, but clearly he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. You know, I couldn't really give a shit what they want out of this. They just made the wrong fucking enemy. <sighs> Remember what Swineheart said, okay? The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. 
But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What yeah, do you man. think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. Yeah, wait, what do you mean? What is this right way? We haven't been doing a good job. You and I. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice... We were under attack, Snow. What did you expect me to do? There are degrees. Degrees? I only ever do what's necessary. Really? Well, if that's the case, please explain to Colin why tearing Dumb's throat out was necessary. can't let up until the fight is finished. He was... he was still a threat, and that's all there is to it. Sure. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Relax, Colin. I can speak for myself, okay? He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you going to let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. If Snow says that's the way it's got to be, that's the way it's got to be. What? Are you kidding me? If you would simply get a glamour... Get a glamour? With what money? You think I could work? <laughs> I don't even have thumbs! Hombre, eso es cierto. Bueno, siempre puede vender tu jamón, eh? Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Narissa. Narissa? That broad from the pudding and pie? What? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. What do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. She knows something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. Vale, vamos a ver. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Narissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really going to send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here. Look, uh... Maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. Ok, hombre, a ver. Si no nos podemos engañar delante de ella, pues sí, pero a ver. A Rano me ha caído bien desde el principio. Era algo inesperado para mí. Entonces, lo salvaremos. Estamos hechos bicarbonato, eh. Poca hostia podemos dar a partida. Risa. Vale. Vamos a ver qué nos cuenta, chavales. El hombre torcido este... No. Sí. ¿Se llama así? Sí, creo que sí. Puede ser. No me acuerdo. El hombre torcido ese... Viene a la Bloody Mary de su parte. Uno de los gemelos está muerto. Se han llevado a Crane. Hay algún tipo de relación, a lo mejor... Entre el poder de la ciudad y ellos, evidentemente. Pero, ¿por qué 
matar a la prostituta. No ya solo la primera, sino porque una que se parece a Snow. ¿Vale? Sí que es verdad que es cierto que esa concretamente era la fantasía de disfrazado de cordero, episodio 4. Esa era la que le gustaba a Crane. Hi. Y la de Big B. Hi, Narissa. Have a seat. I, um, are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be. Well, let's just say I've been better. <laughs> Puffin puffs. Not many people smoke those. Eso puede ser una. Eso puede ser importante. Thanks. So what was that back there with Crane? He wanted you to tell me something. You know, it's not too late to talk. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell Crane was trying to break. Not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for. You found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just go ahead. It might work. You're here because the crooked man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of worries. You have something you want to say about that, right? These lips are sealed. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone, and I don't know what to do. Are you saying you need a friend right now? You can trust me. What I'm saying is friends matter, and I, I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Are you? Who are you talking about? Are my friends in danger? <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help, but... But... But your lips are sealed. I'm... Sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too, huh? Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? How can I? It's a tool to keep you stuck in that life. Subservient. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Bastante probable que tenga que ver. Sea como una marca distintiva, ¿no? Para diferenciarla. A ver. Spell Crane talked about. Is there any way to break it? Is there something I can do about it? No! Lips are sealed! What? You can't! Just stay back! You can't do that! Slow down. It's alright. I'm not gonna do anything. Please. 
don't. <sighs> okay. I get it. So the ribbons, if you take them off... If anyone finds out I came here, that's probably snow. Listen, Sheriff, can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of trouble. I shouldn't be talking to you. I won't tell anyone, don't worry. Thank you. Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. No, wait, you don't have to go. That was... Uh, abrupt. That's one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She couldn't really say anything. The magic that Crane was talking about, it's in the ribbon. And you can't take the ribbon off, or... It's how Faith and Lily died. Hostias. Okay then, good work. O sea, que el lazo hace como... So, about Beauty and Beast, do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? And they're scared about what's been going on? Beauty told me she had to take out a loan from the Crooked Man. Seems like a pretty bad deal. I can only imagine what they're thinking now. El lazo a lo mejor es lo que le une la cabeza, ¿no? De alguna manera. Lo que mueren si se lo quita. Vale, nos vamos a la oficina. Apartamento de la Bella y la Bestia. Al mediodía. Oh, what do you want? Well, you're just going around knocking on doors, stirring the pot. You called, right? Or uh, was it beauty? Why would I call you? Listen, I've had a shitty night. Do you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I? So have you, Figby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Bissa. If you don't want to talk, can you just get beauty for me? I don't know. Is it safe to turn my back? It's your pal, Bigby. Hi, Bigby. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. A boca pita. Hostia, mira que guapo. So I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I can already tell you're going to make a problem out of this. Hmm. We don't talk about living in the past. I just don't think we can trust him. Not after the way he went behind my back. And then you run and call him again? Well, I trust him. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets for you. It was one little thing. <laughs> <laughs> 
va a romper algo y va a romper algo y la vamos a cagar que Oh, thanks for letting us finish our conversation. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Feast! No, really, I want to know. What are you trying to say, huh? Did you come to give us decorating tips? You've lived here a long time, and you've never called me over. So what's this about? Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do, We so... should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. I'd like to help you, but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk and you don't get it? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know if it's worth it. I can protect you, but only if you tell me what I need to know. And that means details. No more stonewalling. We aren't. And just oh, tell me what's going on here. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like? Viéramos cómo. No puedes vivir como un puto majará, pues te coge con una persona normal. Sí, tieso. Así soy los tiesos. Uh, let me just step. Uh... A day at the beach? Skiing the slopes? <laughs> and we can't come to hey, the phone right now. Not so leave with. a message in I the should... beep and we'll get back to you as soon as <laughs> <laughs> humanly possible. Beep. That fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warnings. It's time to start thinking about how else you can settle this. Because next time, I'm making a house call. The crooked man's gonna get his ah, one way this. or another. Shit. All I care about is how can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh yeah, that slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the crooked man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. Okay. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Big Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You 
know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street, same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I needed work. You have to believe us. We didn't think it would get like this. We're decent people, Bigby. Listen to me very carefully. Did you ever deliver to the crooked man? Can you give me an address? No. I delivered to places all over town, but never to the man himself. He never seems to be heading to the same place, but it always comes out of the butcher shop. How did you get involved with this? Johan the butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up, and it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work, especially not where she was. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She gets under my skin, you know, and I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. You're damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I elegí, no? Sí, lo de los empeños. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. I'm scraping to get by. ¿Por qué motivo? Ah. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. Ah, no, 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 no. No te me caliente, no te me caliente. You wouldn't understand, Big B. Colisio, no te me caliente. No. Probably not. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. ¿Dónde vamos a ir? I want to know what the crooked man is hiding. I'm on a carnicería. You know, Bigby, once you show up there, word is going to spread. There may be nothing left for you to see if you go to the Lucky Pond after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Pero si me puedo encontrar aquí a la merienda. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the crooked man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well. Maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? I'll handle it. I'm not gonna let that crooked bastard ruin any more lives. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Evidentemente. El corte limpio, carnicería, calle Tubman. Por la tarde. Dame un momento. Y de la gran... Ah, bueno, vale. Ok. El corte limpio, carnicería. A ver, no se puede fumar. <ríe> y aquí estamos. Vamos a empezar ahí de buena para que no se nos vea el plumero. A ver. Qué hambre. He's got a whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have any. Right. No sé yo el estado en el que se encuentra. Regulero, eh. Solid. 
would want to eat this. That that's what Beast was talking about. Hmm. That logo looks familiar. I've seen this before. That antique green leaves. Bigby Wolf? <clears throat> well, welcome, Sheriff. Uh, what can I get for you? You interested in a particular cut? Um, let's see. What do we have in stock? Let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Flank steak on special. New York strip. Uh, oh, I can have some wild boar in tomorrow if you like. Uh, sirloin, ribs. I know Bloody Mary hangs around here. I want to talk to her. I, uh, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> what you see is what you get. Just meat. Don't find anything else. We just, uh, we do more wholesale and meat packing than walk-up service. I'd like to help you. Really, I would. But there's uh, nothing here. So you don't mind if I take a look around? I guess not. I, Sheriff, I... Did you hear that? What? Hijo de puta. Oh, sorry. Hold on. I, I just gotta go check. Acaba de darle al botón para avisar. I'll be right back. Butcher? I just have to go see. Tiene ahí conectado el cable que va arriba. Shit. Efectivamente. Vamos a ver. Just doing my job, Johan. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. They're gonna kill me. Oh god, she is gonna fucking kill me. He's gonna get me killed. What are you hiding behind that door? Huh? Please, please, Bigby. Please don't. Bigby. What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't want to die. Please, please don't kill me. If you don't talk, I might have to do just that. Is that what you want, Johan? No, no, please. You don't have to do that. I'm dead. Either way, they said to me, Johan, you can keep your life and lose your shop or lose both. What would you do? It was a simple choice to make in the moment. Easy, even when they got you on a hook in the deep freeze. Just open the door, Johan. It won't be your problem anymore. I, I can't. Why not? What's back there? I don't know. I, honest. I, I've never been back there. It's locked from the other side. Look, I, I just worked the front. That's all I'm supposed to do. So you are a part of this. You've been bullshitting me this whole time. Where's Mary? Where's the fucking crooked man? So help me, I will put your head through that damn door. Tell me what I need to know, now. I don't know. I'm not part of their crew. Crew? The crooked man's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case blood. But yeah. You, you want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me. Took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I'd let Mary and those 
porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time? I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. A and I don't want to know. Well, we're about to see what's back there. And then we'll see if I believe you. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. Yo que crees cuando le das al botón, amigo. Vaya. Vale, lengua de perro. Stop. Run. Ah, que le has dado a la luz para que se vaya, en verdad, amigo. Efectivamente. Prince Note, vale. Ahí había alguien. What is this place? I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Warning. This business, it's all I've ever had. Damn it, you can't act like you're forced into this and then turn around and help them. You'd still be here if you hadn't flipped that switch out there. I had to. Huh. You come in here making trouble for me. But you won't be giving shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Voy a dar de hostias. They took this place from me. It hasn't been easy for me. You think I want to live with this at my back? I needed help. I needed your help. You're not off the fucking hook yet, Butcher. If I find something, I so much as smell something that makes me think you're lying. Vaya, más mierda de esta. This is what Beast was delivering. Glamours, other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. Vamos a ver. That's simple. It's on all the packages. What is it? That's the crooked man's uh, brand. It's on everything that goes in and out of here. So you do know something, huh? Is that a, a wheel or what? I guess they never used that thing on wolves, huh? What's that supposed to mean? It's from back in the homelands. A torture device. It came over here with the rest of our stories. Not that Bundy's need any help coming up with that kind of thing. Y la herramienta de tortura es. Like breaking their bones and. Do I really need to explain this? La rueda esa que te montan los artes y te van estirando. La que hace crack. What are they making here? I'm just a butcher. You want to talk T-bones? <laughs> that I can do. This stuff is out of my league. There are a lot of nasty spells you can make with the right equipment. Chains? Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. Ray Sangri. These are raw materials for making magic. Anti-Greenleaf and any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. Don't you see what's going on here? With all these raw materials, it looks like he could process them into just about any kind of magic. He's got all he needs. The gear. It's slave labor to work it. So these must be the orders. Bueno. He's got his hooks into everybody. It's pretty clear how. Oh yeah? How? Doing it like this. It's bound to be cheaper than the 13th floor. Nerissa. It's horrible. Things that must have gone on here. It's the putting in pie girls with the ribbons. Whoever he's got in here in these chains. Ah, claro. 
is enslaving fables on my watch. En el momento en el que quita el lazo, muere automáticamente. Pero el lazo hace que no puedan hablar. I don't know how, but he's got it some way. That's right. It was that creepy magic mirror with the big green head and all. Why don't you just use that? Find the crooked man that way. And leave me alone. Yeah, with stuff like that mirror, I'm surprised that you ever need to leave the office. It's fucking broken. Crane shattered the mirror and made off with one of the pieces. He probably still has the shard with him. Well, if they got their hands on an important magical item, there's only one place they'd take it. The Lucky Pawn. They probably took Crane there, too. The Lucky Pawn. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the Crooked Man. Hey, hold on. Well, I'm real happy you found what you're looking for, Big B. But what about me? Huh? What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm gonna have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. Report to the business office. Tell Snow I sent you there. And we'll, uh, we'll figure something out. Some kind of protection. Thank you. Thank you, Chef. Muy bien. Pues nos vamos al empeño suertudo de Lucky Pan, ¿vale? Pues chavales, muchísimas gracias a todos los que habéis llegado hasta aquí. Nos vemos en el siguiente capítulo, ¿vale? Vamos a ir a la casa de empeño. Vamos a intentar descubrir si ahí queda está el resto de cristal para poder arreglar el espejo y saber dónde está el hombre torcido o si no... Bueno, es que no sé lo que va a pasar, la verdad es que ya me... Esto me... Que no te lo esperas, la verdad, no te lo esperas, una mierda, pero bueno. Nos vemos en el siguiente capítulo, hasta luego.